I want to thank Sound Mind and Body for having me here today to be a part of this special occasion. Uh, you know, I talk to our players all the time a little bit about everybody here has a story. Everybody here has a story. You have a background, you have somebody uh, that's promoted you, that's brought you here, but everybody's got a, a story. Everybody's got a past. We've got a lot of head coaches here, got a lot of coaches that's brought the entire staffs here. I got some people, saw some people from the left coast over there, from Oregon are here. There are all different people from across the country. So it's a great opportunity to showcase your talents. More importantly, you've got to have goals when you come to this thing. To me, any time you walk out and perform, you've got to have a goal. Goals today, go home safe. Go home safe. Don't get so competitive that you rock somebody else out of their shoes that you injure somebody or get yourself injured. Go home safe. Learn something to be a better football player. Learn something to be a better, better football player. Take one little aspect of your game, maybe improve it 3%. Third thing I think is make it a life experience. Make it an experience that you'll remember for the rest of your life. You can sit there and say, I remember when I went to Sound Mind and Body, and they were 1,200 people here. With our players, we always have certain goals, just like the other coaches that came up here. We have goals that uh, that we speak to our players about to try and get first goal. And I've got some guys out here that probably sat in my office and have heard the same thing. So I'll tell you guys the same thing that, that I would tell them. It starts with the relationship. I don't care where you're at, with what you're doing, whether you're working a job in the summer, whether you're working a full-time job, whether you're playing high school football, whether you're in your classroom, wherever you're at, it starts with a relationship with somebody that's gonna care for you, that you can trust, that you can communicate with, that you can share a commitment with. You can share some type of commitment where you can move forward. That commitment should be able to bring you full circle. If you got that, if you got that, then you got some direction and you've got a reason to move forward. Like I said before, everybody's got a story. You're trying to work towards the future. If you've got the commitment that's based on, on trust and that ability to communicate, you can move forward and do anything that you need to do. I truly believe that. Truly believe that. Number two, when you leave high school, when you leave college, you want to be self-efficient. You want to be able to take care of yourself and your family. You don't want to be, have to depend on somebody else. You want to be the breadwinner. You want to be the man. You want to be that person that takes care of your family. You want to do that. That guy. That takes education at a high level, college, high school, whatever, but that takes education and that takes job performance. Ability to do a job and perform at it. For most of us here, you want to raise your hand a little bit, you want to play professional football, let's be real here, guys. You can fill up this auditorium right now with all the NFL players in the country. It would be about right here. So you're looking at a very low percentage of guys getting there. But you want to dream big and you want to try and accomplish those things, but you have got to be self-efficient when you leave here and, and have opportunities beyond that. The third goal is we want to win. We want to win at whatever we're doing. We want to win in terms of earning scholarships. We want to win in terms of being on our football programs back home. You want to experience championship moments. Those type of things you want to do on a day-to-day -day basis. Win. Win at a high level. That winning comes in all different forms, whether it's socially, athletically, or educationally. So win. The last thing I would leave you with is you want to be a giver, not a taker, guys. You don't want to be a taker. When you take, 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 sooner or later somebody takes from you. When you give and you keep pushing out there and you keep opening your hands to other people, inevitably somebody puts something very valuable in your hands. I believe it's about people. The people that come to our program are difference makers. They're difference makers. The people that work for me, they're difference makers. If they're not difference makers, the people that work with me, if they're not difference makers, they find themselves moving through the process and out, out the door to someplace else. You gotta be a difference maker. It is about people. Beautiful auditorium here today. Outstanding resources here and facilities. But it means nothing unless you have the right people. Thank you very much for having us today. I look forward to seeing you out there. Go Green. Hey guys.